Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN InfoTech Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the 7 VLOOKUP alternative ideas that you might use in your everyday work. Please note that these are just some possibilities. Subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. You could find more tutorials and office templates on my website hbninfotech.com You could buy these advanced excel books on Amazon. Link in description below. Before we start, first let us understand how a VLOOKUP works technically. VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. Not just VLOOKUP, even other lookup functions share some similarities. In general, these lookup functions retrieve a value of a row and a column intersection. Let's have a practical look. I have taken a small table data for demonstration. Now say for example, if you want to know where Peter lives i mean in which city peter lives you might have to look into the peter's row and the city column so that means it would be the intersection of the peter row and the city column you will come to know that miami is the city where peter resides now let's see how we can use the VLOOKUP function to retrieve the same data. Let's begin with an equal sign, then type VLOOKUP, then opening parenthesis. Now for the lookup value, type PETER enclosed within the double quotes. For the table of array, select the entire table, leaving the ID column. For the column index number, type 3. Please note that number 3 refers to the city column. Then finally, for the range lookup, type false. Then type a closing parenthesis and hit the enter key. Now the result shows that Peter lives in the city Miami. We just retrieved the row and column intersected data using VLOOKUP. Now I shall show you 7 different methods which does the same thing. Method 1 using the space reference operator. Many of you might have used the comma and colon reference operators, but very few know about the space operator. Now let's see how we can use that as a substitute for VLOOKUP. Type an equal sign, then select Peter's row, then add a space by pressing the spacebar, then select the city column and hit the enter key. Now you can observe that we get the same answer Miami. Now you guys should figure it out and let me know where you can use this technique and also let me know in the comments whether this technique could be helpful. Method 2 Nesting indirect address row and column functions to get the same result. Now let me explain how this nested function works. First let us know what the indirect function does. The indirect function displays the content of the specified cell address. To determine the cell address, I have used the address function. The address function creates a cell reference or address using the row address and the column address. To get the row and column address, I have used the row and column functions. Method 3 Nesting index and count a functions. 
Now let me explain how this nested function works. The index function actually retries the data required wherein you need to specify the reference for the table of array, row number and the column number. I have used the count a function to count the cells down and across in order to determine the row and column numbers. Method 4 Nesting index and match functions In this method, I have used the same index function explained in the previous method, but instead of count a function, I have used the match function. Method 5 Using lookup functions array method Please note that you need to sort the data for this method to work. For this method to work as desired, Sort the first name column to either ascending or descending order and then proceed to construct the formula. Now in lookup function, you will just need to specify the lookup value which should reside in the first column of the selected table and the table of array is the entire table data. Method 6 Using Lookup Functions Vector Method This method also requires you to sort the data. Similar to the previous method, you will need to specify the lookup value, but in addition to that, you will have to specify the lookup vector, that is, the column reference in which the lookup value resides, and then you will have to Specify the result vector that is the column from which you want to retrieve the data. Method 7 Using Offset Function The offset function has three mandatory parameters and two optional parameters. For this example, select the cell B1 for the reference parameter. Then count and specify the number of rows down where the value parameter resides. Then count and specify the number of columns across where the value city resides. Please note that you should not count the cell B1 and include in either for the row or column counts. From these examples, we can come to a conclusion that there can be as many permutations and combinations for the same task. The thing is that you need to figure it out. Thanks for watching. Please let me know your suggestions in the comments.